thank you so much thank you so much navneet in the first place neha aapko bhi bahut bahut thank you but first thanks to navneet for agreeing to do this and this is one of its kind and i think first of its kind jo cheez hum kar rahe hain oh my god that's such a sweet gesture navneet navneet we are so honored ki aapne hum sare parents ke questions ko बहुत ध्यान से लाइक यू सेंट मी अ मैसेज आल्सो वेरी माइंडफुली यू रेड ईच एंड एवरी सिंगल क्वेश्चन दैट हैज रीच्ड आउट टू यू थ्रू दोस गूगल फॉर्म्स एंड यू हैव रिटन योर आंसर्स सो डियर पेरेंट्स ऑल योर क्वेश्चंस आर आंसर्ड बट नवनीत इज डूइंग देम इन डूइंग देम सेक्शन वाइज सो टुडे वी आर हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू टू प्रेजेंट टू यू द आंसर्स अंडर द कैटेगरी autism and social anxiety navneet with your due permission me and neha your mama and khushboo aunty take this opportunity whatever you have written to just make it reach to every parent who has questions in their mind and who have written their questions to you maybe maybe is that a yes from navneet yes yes say yes oh yes He's raising his hand. Yes. Wow. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much, Navneet. Thank you, beta. Chalo. So from here on, Neha and Kushbu Aunty will take it ahead, and we start with reading the questions. We are no one here to change the wordings of questions, neither the answers. I will be reading out the questions, and Neha will read out the answers one by one from here on. <clears throat> So let's start. So we have been doing a lot of things at Sigan Mantras, homeopathy, sound healing, yoga, and a lot of webinars. And in the same series, we thought let's bring Navneet himself, who has more idea and his own experience. which none of us have even you know um we would be touching slightest or closest to it so <clears throat> let's see what are the questions that follow here needs answer to those and today's topic is under various categories autism and social anxiety a q and a series with navneet kulkarni so the first question here is one of the parent writes i feel extremely isolated and jealous for other parents with neurotypical kids so how to deal with this situation neha over to you yes uh, hello everyone and this is neha kulkarni navneet's mom finally the day has come uh, today uh, we are uh, here <laughs> to uh, read it out all the answers of your questions i know you all are very excited for this so let's begin with this uh, and the for the answer for the first question is uh, this question is little bit confusing me he said uh, so why and what makes you feel jealous for other parents with neurotypical kids other parents are facing the same problems as yours we all are uh, in the same ship instead of feeling jealous feel inside you to help other parents to know their kids feel inside you the kindness and empathy for other parents show your feelings with others by helping them to understand their child and whatever you give to others or feel for others it will reverse you and you will get the same reactions from others for you so don't feel jealous for others spread happiness to others and it will reverse you with feeling happiness with your kid to me feeling jealous will come down come down when emotions get control uh, do not bend your do not bend yourself for bad emotions feel doing something good for others and grow a seed inside you feeling of kindness and compassion so uh, he is going to uh, tell uh that do why to feel uh to feel jealous of other parents uh, uh so uh, don't feel uh, jealous and instead of feeling jealous and um, help other parents to know the kid uh, 
and uh, we are in the same ship uh, so hmm, please i i also request the parent whoever asked this question please don't feel jealous of uh, anyone um because uh, you know uh, there are many therapists and uh, you th- you are taking um, therapies and all you know the success stories of the parents and the, uh, the positiveness uh, of uh, the parents share their feeling uh, story they share with uh, you uh, all you know that is going to be a great impact on the other parent you know the poor success stories and parents should help the other parents in this journey um, that uh, that will ha- help lot uh, that will bring so many changes uh, mentally uh, to be mentally stable you know um, so please don't feel jealous of other parents and if you feel like uh, talking with them want to give suggestions or something you want to help them please go and uh, come forward and help them that's all i want to tell about this for uh, from Even adding my I, yeah i would also like to add a little thing here the last line navneet uh, says mm. grow a seed inside you which gives you the feeling of kindness and compassion a little yes. message to all the parents a small seed has the potential to grow into a huge tree hum jis cheez ka beej boenge wahi ped kaatenge na so yes, it's yes. best to have that feeling of gratitude and hum wahi beej boen jo hum aage chal ke kaatna chahte hain so let's do it guys i totally um, you know i'm going to apply this from here on <laughs> jo kabhi thodi bahut wo feeling creep in hoti bhi hai i'm going to no, say that you in unity of parents uh, <clears throat> you know uh, that brings so many positive changes in the life of all the parents you know uh, and since from 9 months we have connected a lot through webinars and all uh, parents is other connect right uh, therapy centers ne ne kuch changes la rahe hai kar rahe hai parents abhi uh, unke upar so uh, show some unity you know uh, This is so a change era all together. Ah, yeah, unity. We will always keep this unity. We are here for each other. That's true, Neha. I mean, we don't need to feel jealous of each other. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. We are here for each other. And we don't need to be judgmental. so let's yes. not just bother hum jo de sakte hain hum unko de and let's make our peace away nahi ek ek baat bhi har parents ko dhyan mein rakhna hai ki jo kuch usse us halat se situation se guzar chuka hai unke experience aur wo agar aake madad kare to wahi hamare hum hame zyada samajh sakta hai ye bhi ek baat bhi hame dhyan mein bahut rakhna hai abhi you know so be in touch with all the active parents you know whoever not you whoever uh, is active and coming forward to help other parents please be in touch with them hmm. to uh, please khul ke baat kijiye itna hi bolna hai mujhe unke sath share bilkul we have all the support groups jo jo links hamare paas hain uske hum description box box mein links dal denge so in case hmm. you want to join any of our support groups you can definitely always welcome so from <clears throat> on that note let's move to the next question neha sure <clears throat> sure Uh, my son is 8 years old when he is in a group of people he will be more excited and becomes more hyper his self talking increases in a crowd also he tries to go behind the person and dogs and squeezes himself that's because he needs deep pressure but i can't use gym ball outside the house and if i say not to do he will do that more in public I need some suggestions regarding how to handle this type of a behavior in public, especially squeezing behavior and other silly behaviors. So, uh, now we need answer for this question. Uh, take him to the public place when it is less crowded. Uh, talk to him and train him before going out. And distract his attention to some task. Keep him engaged with some fidgeting tools. carry some squeezy ball even i also carry a fidget tool when i go out it self regulate me from anxiety if any sensory tools you give in his hand he regulate himself 
and vocal stimming also will reduce self talking is a stimming nature he says uh, so it is very true you know um, whenever he goes out uh, he he, is, he was also having some social anxiety uh, now and still now <laughs> still now he is from 16 years old but still he carries some fidgeting tools with him uh, whenever he go, we go to some you know i mean mall i uh, i i used to uh, Uh, make him practice and distract his mind you know um, by uh, uh, by giving some work they uh, like picking the groceries uh, groceries uh, and putting in the trolley and all uh, i used to distract his mind by like that uh, so you can um, uh, uh, distract his mind and uh, make him to uh, do some uh, activities <laughs> there also you can start uh, by training him how to behave and uh, engage him Uh, in some activities also they uh, so that uh, vocal stimming also will reduce uh, and uh, fidgeting tools uh, i have experienced it you know whenever he he have something in his hand to fidget he will be very calm uh, outside and his uh, social anxiety will be also uh, he will be very stable you know hmm. so i believe in this <laughs> Uh, and, in fact you know i have heard the same thing from a few other parents also with elderly kids like the teenagers Yes. So, if this is and if this can help our children stay calm and settle, there's no harm in doing that. हमारे खुद के अपने कुछ ना कुछ visiting habits होते हैं, which we do it. हम अपने हिसाब से करते हैं. लोग बहुत ही सोचते हैं. They feel they feel so protective, you know. घर में भी मैं कुछ रखती हूँ. अगर हम I I will carry all the types of fidgeting tools, you know, whatever he uses at home. जहे चाहे कोई pen हो या scale हो, कोई flute हो. Uh, I still still remember, no, when he was eight years old, uh, we were traveling from Hyderabad to uh, Kochi, actually, for trip, <laughs> Kerala trip. In the airport also, he was holding <laughs> some uh, flute. I have I gave him to fidget. एंड चेकिंग करते हैं ना तब उसने कहा उन्होंने कहा कि ये अंदर रख दो ये नहीं होगा then i please and then i went and requested them please you can check this then nothing in that you can if you want to be you can check for the safety and all i requested uh, the, at the airport also i mean he was 8 years old so oh, then they allowed uh, me uh, for him to carry that you know in his side so hum log kaise hai bhar mein aap a some uh, there are some behaviors there are not acceptable other uh, but uh, when is still if it is any no harm to any other people and all no we have hmm. to, we have to try our level best uh, to take the uh, side of our kids you know hmm. because uh, they uh, it is a need of their uh, our child you know agar wo fidgeting wo self regulate karta hai anxiety reduce karta hai hamare bachcho ko to we have to uh, uh, रेस्पेक्ट देर नीड यू नो हाँ मुझे वो कहना है सो मैं इस इस मामले में मैं उसे फ्रीली ये करती हूँ कभी रिस्ट्रिक्शंस नहीं डालती हूँ मैं अगर मैं बाहर जाऊंगी तो भी फिजेटिंग उसका जो टूल्स है लाइट वाला नहीं तो टूल्स प्ले स्केल्स पेंसिल वॉट एवर जस्ट गॉट बैक जस्ट से समथिंग या या नाउ आई कैन हियर यू अभी आया अभी आया अभी आया हां हां ठीक है सो शैल वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हां यस श्योर श्योर ओके सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज हाउ टू मेक अ किड अंडरस्टैंड दैट द थिंग व्हिच अ 3 ईयर किड इज डूइंग इज एक्सेप्टेबल एट हिज एज बट नॉट एक्सेप्टेबल एट एन एज अबव 7 इयर्स लेट्स सी व्हाट नवीन सेज द आंसर फॉर दिस question is uh, that depends upon his mental status depends of on his understanding level if a 7 years old boy behaves like 3 years old child it is not acceptable 
but you have to teach them the right behavior you have not mentioned particular problems what you are dealing with he is asking actually you know but don't go uh, to change all the things everyone should keep inner child alive in you uh, have you uh, ever felt like touching the mud and smelling the mud do you uh, never feel like uh, making smiley face in front of mirror he is asking the question Uh, uh, so you never feel like huh, you never feel like dancing and singing yourself in front of mirror these all things add more pleasures in everyone everyone it is life <laughs> so please don't take away this childishness from your child and keep these things alive in you also jab se a maine answer read kiya hai na <laughs> I'm following it really, you know. <laughs> कभी, कभी भी मैं के सामने जाती हूँ तो इसकी ये आंसर मुझे इट रिमाइंड्स मी आंसर यू नो अच्छा लग रहा है क्यूट एंड इट एक्चुअली लाइफ बैक इन अस मुझे भी एकदम पढ़ के ना चेहरे पे स्माइल आ गई Oh, this way of answering and thinking is very unique, you know. Oh, yeah. कितना अलग ही है ये आंसर उसका भी. Understanding. <laughs> ठीक है जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ टू टीच अनोन पर्सन हाउ टू टीच अबाउट एन अनोन पर्सन इन आर सराउंडिंग्स सो हियर इट इज आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट ही इज आस्किंग अगेन द क्वेश्चन यू नो अबाउट व्हाट टू टीच अनोन पर्सन इन आवर सराउंडिंग्स यू हैव नॉट मेंशन ही इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन मार्क शायद रहेगा कॉमा दिया है उस Oh, I think you want to. Uh, I think you want wanted to ask me that how to make surrounding people to understand your child. Means, um, उसने क्वेश्चन ऑटोमेटिकली तैयार कर दिया इसके अंदर. People will understand when you place for inputting them the positiveness of your child. Talk about your child, his or her good qualities, and how they are struggling with daily living problems. give them good feedback of your training for your child not everyone understand our journey if they do not understand your kids then make your surround surroundings with the people who are leading the same life as yours uh, who can feel the same pain as yours the one who experience your journey they only they only can better understand you than anyone else so he is going to say that those who are facing the same problems they don't they can understand our child better mm. so uh, if uh, instead of accept, uh, uh, changing the society and making them forcibly uh, to uh, adjust with us and all if they are going to um, give try to give the positive inputs uh, of the child uh, he is telling uh, and uh, if they are not trying from your side uh, still they are not accepting you and uh, uh, understanding you then you you keep your surroundings with the people who are dealing with the same problems and in who are in the same journey as yours so that you will be happy and your child and you will be accepted in that surrounding uh, and uh, you will be have a comfortable uh, with that society he is telling uh, so uh, what uh, what is your opinion pushpu on this uh, neha actually i am also a little confused as to what exactly this question is one mm. one uh, meaning which i could draw from this is how do mm. we teach our kids about an unknown person in the surrounding that this particular person is a stranger basically and the mm. other thing is um, what navneet has uh, detailed about mm. so i really don't know what exactly this question is and both of these will have different answers so if we have to teach our kids about strangers that's a different thing altogether and uh, uh, and answers. on this i am definitely with navneet that you know we have to we have to be open unless we have accepted the thing and we are open about sharing 
our journey, mm-hmm. our struggles, how can we expect people to understand us and know us better? Positiveness uh, should come from uh, our side. You know, mm-hmm. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Instead of uh, telling that uh, our uh, child has that problem, this problem, and uh, start, right. if we, we keep on uh, t- telling some negative impact on uh, uh, discussing negative points of our child uh, in front of others, how can then they the understand whole, us? But the whole we, energy first we have will, that, yeah, then the whole energy will flow in the negative direction only. And everything around will become so negative for us. We have to positive environment. Wherever we right. go, we to tell them we have to be positive first, you know. Then we can accept other from others. And they definitely, we will get a good response from others also. Yeah. If we are positive, we, we are highlighting our kid in a positive manner, in a good manner, and praising our whatever, our, uh, whatever we are dealing with the problems, or how we are teaching them, and uh, what are the struggle they are, our kids are doing if they come to know then definitely they will change their view you know uh, awareness yeah. should come uh, awareness should come from parents first you know then exactly acceptance. yes awareness acceptance <laughs> then yeah then spreading the same thing yeah. in the society okay then the next one what is the best way to teach the child regarding making friendship with his peers uh, so the answer is mm, the best way to teach the child regarding making friendship with his peers is making uh, only one or two friends of his age group and you also get involved with them in the play and teach your child how to play with his friends by showing it through your actions. Don't try to make uh, more friends at a time because autistic kids have sensory issues. They cannot tolerate too much noise. You explain other kids also how to develop good friendship with your child. Uh, while your child playing with other kids, your child should not get hurt physically and mentally because autistic kids are always hurt by others. They cannot hit back to uh, other kids nor they speak up for protecting themselves nor they share their problems with other with parents. So please teach your child about emotions sharing with you and ask through pictures about sharing emotions. He's telling, um, means uh, before, making the, uh, before making a child to make friendship with others, we have to teach our child how to, um, how to ma- make friendship. We have to teach uh, being with them. You know, and uh, um, start with two or three uh, kids uh, um, to make the friends. And uh, when they get used, when your child gets used uh, with playing with one or two friends, then you can add more more uh, in that in that group uh, so that you will get used to that and all. Um, so, uh, and, and the another thing what he is going to tell is um, when the fr- when your child is uh, playing with uh, other kids and all, um, the, and uh, we have to, obs- parents, as a parents, we have to observe that uh, our physical, our children are not uh, get hurt by other, uh, other ch- children and all, friends, by his friends, you know, mm-hmm. because uh, our kids are having, are you listening? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, Neha. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because uh, our kids cannot uh, share, uh, share, uh, share uh, the whatever means uh, get teased. Uh, our kids are most teased by other uh, kids, you know. Um, uh, if they, but they will get emotionally hurt. But they will, uh, they don't have that uh, um, capacity to come uh, to their parents and uh, share this, you know, uh, whatever happened. Uh, in uh, the parents' absence and all. Uh, so we have to teach our uh, emotions and whatever happens in their absence uh, when they are playing with other kids and all. Uh, make sure that they, they come, uh, make sure that uh, you ask them what, uh, how was your uh, uh, play and all, how was your <laughs> play game and playing uh, outside. You communicate with the child, you know, ask them about uh, how was the uh, play and games and all. So, um, yeah you know in fact here i would like to share um Hmm. am i clearly audible neha because your voice is cracking a lot in between Uh, Mm. maybe uh, your voice is clear 
maybe neha you can also put your camera off maine bhi apne end se camera off kar diya hai shayad hai na mera video visible nahi hai na hmm. so okay. that will give us a better uh, bandwidth here yeah so what hmm. i was sharing yes. um, how i worked with vian initially when he had no friends and he was just not ready to get into that friendly terms with anyone i started an activity club classes at home at very minimal cost because unless you keep something paid nobody uh, really bothers about sending their kids to your place maine play dates ke liye bhi try kiya but nobody ever came so i started mm-hmm. with paid activity classes na barabar charges ekdam and i used to plan activities and i never forced vian to participate in that instead in mm-hmm. that group of 6 to 7 kids jo ghar aaye pehle din i split mm-hmm. it into three groups 12 बारह बच्चे आए थे आई स्प्लिटेड इन टू थ्री ग्रुप और उन तीन ग्रुप को फिर हमने चार चार लोगों को बुला के एवरी डे वी डिड द एक्टिविटीज तो वी आंट लेट वॉज अ रेपिटेशन ऑफ एक्टिविटीज एंड ही सॉ मी मॉडलिंग इन अ वे कि कैसे लोग घर आते हैं हाउ यू ग्रीट दैम हाउ यू सिट विद दैम हाउ यू टॉक टू दैम हाउ यू मेक फ्रेंडशिप सो आई वेंट डाउन टू दैट लेवल ऑफ अ स्मॉल लिटिल चाइल्ड ऑफ टू एंड हाफ टू थ्री ईयर्स ऑफ एज मेकिंग फ्रेंड्स विद दो लिटिल टाइनी um mm-hmm. you know uh, kya bolna chahiye hamare tiny monkeys <laughs> tiny cute hame to monkey banna cha banna chahiye wo bachcho ke sath to wo kiya maine and with that it came so easy for vian to to gel up with kids whoever came home jaise kabhi koi guests aate the koi aisi families aati thi jinke sath bacche hote the and then his anxieties started coming down he started accepting people coming home kids coming home playing with his toys talking to him he started talking to them so uh, that's that's how it works actually we have to get down so to the slowly like, you know, push and push very push slow push yeah we have to be patience we have and first step uh, uh, they will observe second step uh, second they will go near uh, the other kids and third uh, at we, they, they will come you know they will start imitating and uh, involve in that uh, with other kids yeah. to play matlab you know, i tried it i tried it the other way around also ki niche playground mein gaye vian isko hi bolo acha iska naam ye hai aapka naam batao it was not working he was only yeah, getting anxious I left yeah. him. I completely left him, or I started it. Yes, so it yes. it um it became very easy for him because he was not forced. He was just observing, and he was saying that yes, it is so much fun. I mean, it's fun to do this. So observation is the way to get interested. Yes, first right. step is to observe. Hmm. Let's move on. Otherwise, we will become children again. Okay. 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 हां जी हाउ टू ओवरकम एंजाइटी ड्यू टू द चेंज इन रूटीन द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज प्लीज डोंट चेंज द रूटीन व्हेन योर चाइल्ड इज स्मॉल सेटिंग रूटीन विल मेक देम टू लर्न थिंक सिस्टमेटिकली Uh, he is very hitler type of you know say yes root this even i don't like to change my routine changes in root, uh, routine Uh, fill our mind with so much con uh, uh, what changes in routine fill our mind with so much confusions as the routine is very hard to change if in case it is necessary to change routine don't change all the things at a time in daily routine teach the things uh, differently by informing before it is applied uh, please you tell them the reason for changes through some stories creating your own absolutely yeah. perfect thing you know uh, in fact i have also seen this thing with vian initially and mm-hmm. visual cards pre preparation mentally bacche ko us cheez ke liye ready karna physically ready karna is very important and yes. also introducing this intentionally in the routine jaise maan lijiye aaj humne ek schedule banaya and we decided that today in the afternoon we will go to the play zone like considering the pre covid times कि आज हम प्ले जोन जाएंगे आफ्टरनून में थ्री ओ क्लॉक फोर ओ क्लॉक इंटेंशनली आप वहां पे डालो कि ड्यू टू सो इन सो रीजन की कार का टायर पंचर हो गया है या कैब्स आर नॉट अवेलेबल सो वी आर मेकिंग दिस चेंज हियर तो जब हम बिट्स एंड पीसेस में इंटेंशनली बच्चे को इंट्रोड्यूस कर देंगे विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ चेंज तो 
सच में जब ऐसी नौबत आती है ना तो इट डजेंट गेट दैट ट्रबल सम फॉर द चाइल्ड और फॉर द पेरेंट ऑल्सो तो नवनीत ने बिल्कुल सही कहा है पहले से एक करके रखा रहता है ये बच्चों का रूटीन जो है वो चेंजेस एकदम से हो गया तो इट विल बी हार्ड फॉर देम और कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ व्हाट इज देम एक्चुअली दे आर वेरी रिजिड टू रूटीन्स नो ही वाज इवन नवनीत वाज वेरी रिजिड टू रूटीन यू नो फिर चेंजेस लाना भी जरूरी है मींस आई ट्राइड दिस चेंजेस लाना लाने के लिए बहुत स्ट्रगल किया मैंने एक्चुअली नवनीत को ही वाज वेरी रिजिड यू नो मींस टाइम मींस टाइम एट ब्रेकफास्ट टाइम मींस 9:00 एट एनी कॉस्ट यू हैव टू Uh, be uh, I, I, me, breakfast should be ready you know, when he was small uh, dhire, i dhire, 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 like his word jo navneet ne mention kiya na systematically hmm. to aap yes, yes. routine bhi systematic rakhiye aur changes bhi systematically bhi systematically introduce kariye means kari changes uh, means they are, they are, means uh, he is going to tell that uh, our uh, autistic kids will adjust to change but before we, we have to prepare them before you know ha huh. Oh, yeah. uh, he is going to tell that you know means uh, when uh, I I started changing the routines and धीरे धीरे मैंने उसका routine जो है ना routine का थोड़ा changes लाने की कोशिश की धीरे धीरे मैंने breakfast का time five minutes से five minutes से ten minutes ten minutes से fifteen minutes ऐसे थोड़ा थोड़ा एक करके delay करके पढ़ाया तो ये धीरे धीरे it went uh, long way but slowly but slowly for five minutes five minutes से मैंने शुरू किया वो धीरे धीरे then ये गो वो mindset कर लिया उसने वो this is what the changes he got Uh, his mind prepared, you know. Uh, means, he said changes. Means, for the changes, all types of changes, he got used to. You know, slowly, slowly, we 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 for our kids you know when we go out some in the some family functions or some yeah. other or we have uh, some festivals at uh, our house it will be very um, hard for them to uh, <laughs> set yeah, so uh, that's set. what i said na neha jo ne hamara usme bhi hame time to time na intentionally mm-hmm. changes dalte rehne chahiye yeah. so that the child yeah. is familiar yeah. to the coming yes. changes ha no yes yes oh. okay chal next question is how to socialize the child with others saying hi bye social greetings yes <clears throat> so the answer is to socialize a child you have to involve playing with other kids taking your child with you uh, means a uh, yeah. <laughs> ये सेंटेंस लिखने का तरीका थोड़ा अलग है शायद उसका uh, you teach child to imitate you i don't know the physical condition of your child means he is asking uh, but for some kids it is very hard to make eye contact along with waving um, proprioception sense will be very poor in most of the kids so they lack body movements so take exercises with rhythmic movements for me it was very hard to wave uh, because no hand movements for waving to say hi but uh, know how to say hi Mm, with doing it into actions was very hard he saying that proper if uh, a child uh, lacks some proprioception sense and all it's very hard to make the uh, egg, uh, at a moment to make the eye contact and uh, do uh, do waving with uh, waving a uh, uh, two actions at a time uh, it will become sometime hard for a child mm, to be in actions with uh, using both the senses he is telling uh, so uh, teach it to imitate he is telling uh, means we have to teach the child uh, if uh, he is having any physical pro- problems we have to uh, uh, take some rhythm movements activities like uh, the music some uh, rhymes uh, of the body parts and all um, 
with music uh, and nursery rhymes we can teach the child you know hmm, how to say hi and all uh, i think yeah that's what like uh, hmm. once they learn imitation then we can generalize it in any area yeah. where we want to work no so that yes. that really helps means when we say hi we look at them you know whenever we uh, we say hi to someone else we look uh, we uh, first thing we make is the eye contact you know that is the very the hard part for the kids that's why they struggle in this part you know uh, making the eye contact uh, and greeting them uh, it will be very hard you know we have to teach uh, in through some moment active uh, make something fun through right. fun it, we have to teach our kids to say hi and all um, with action uh, songs and all he is saying yeah um, i teach uh, this you know uh, through rhythmic movements also, and also uh, also uh, this is a skill learned at a very uh, like early age the preschool yeah. years and that's the time when we when our kids are more into rhymes dances songs mm-hmm. So yes, that's yes. the best way to teach them these things. When the kids are uh, at younger age, no, when they are in toddlers or in the nursery uh, stage, uh, we have to play. Uh, you know, this nursery rhymes and music helps a lot in, uh, to socialize. <laughs> I'm sure you all can hear Vian's uh, mm. laughter in the background. <laughs> yes, <laughs> doing. Yes, Oh, नवनीत <laughs> others to get to gain your attention he says he want uh, to see your reaction for that behavior <laughs> so teach him good habits through showing pictures uh, teach right things through social stories you behave on being serious with face, uh, facial expressions <laughs> what i used to do when he was <laughs> when he was small <laughs> when he was around <laughs> years old i think uh, teach good hab good behavior and reward him immediately for behaving good uh, teach good discipline by giving examples of other kids for having patience is good but if uh, kids harm to other people then it is not acceptable but don't punish a child for that uh, for that explain them very calmly with teaching them that it hurts when you hit others teach the kid about feelings and emotions through emotion emotional chat he says so um, preparing and uh, discipline child is very important you know along with that um, means uh, not raising our voice by um, by uh, teaching the emotions and all uh, it it's very important in the early age um, as so jitna jaldi ho hota hai utna jab chhot bachcha chhota rehta hai tabhi agar hum emotions and feelings ke upar agar work karenge to jo hai na ye sab behaviors apne aap hi they fear, they also uh, change their behavior you know I, when i hit some uh, other person it he it pains him and all the feelings it comes in the child's mind you know we are uh, teaching emotions and feelings and no uh, teaching the uh, teaching about the pain of others um, making them to uh, realize uh, the pain of others and all we have to teach a child you know aapka kya kehna hai I I totally, Aniha, I totally second with Navneet here और ये चीज ना सिर्फ uh, uh, मतलब ये एक्चुअली बहुत टेक्निकल भी है वट एवर आई हैव एक्सपीरियंसड विद द किड्स आई एम वर्किंग विद विथ वी आन वट एवर आई हैव लर्न फ्रॉम माई बुक्स सब जगह सेल्फ रेगुलेशन को अगर हम उसकी रूट पे जाके देखें तो इट्स नथिंग बट इमोशंस तो it's इट्स अ स्टेप वाइज एन अ सिक्वेंशियल थिंग आर चिल्ड्रन नीड टू फर्स्ट गेन दैट इमोशनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग जब इमोशनल अंडरस्टैंडिंग आएगा तो इमोशनल एक्सप्रेशन आएगा एंड ओनली वेन एन इमोशनल एक्सप्रेशन विल कम विल कम द इमोशनल रेगुलेशन उसमें भी पहले बच्चों को हमारी मदद लगती है इट्स अ को रेगुलेशन एंड देन कम्स सेल्फ रेगुलेशन 
so it is very very technical mm. even mm. i used to do them i uh, never used to shout at him and all you know i used to sit very serious and never used i used to shut my mouth and when he was around 2 to 3 <laughs> years old i think he was very hyper and he hit, hitting means uh, he used to hit himself you know but no, i used but to keep, you know uh, all the parents should take this very on a very uh, serious note that hame apne bachcho ko emotions is the primary thing that we have to teach understanding and expression to baki cheeze apne aap bahut ease out ho jati hai ek emotions ke bare mein agar bachcho ko pata chal gaya to he they, they can uh, learn they change their behavior you know hmm. ha aap ek cheez aur dekhiye abhi जमाना ही बदल गया है हम टेक्स्ट से कम और इमोटिकॉन से ज्यादा इमोजी से ज्यादा कम्युनिकेट करते हैं एक दूसरे से yes. तो वो mm-hmm. क्या है सारे इमोजीज दे नथिंग बट एक्सप्रेसिंग आर इमोशंस यू नो विद दोस डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ इमोजीज दैट वी हैव ऑन आर फोन्स फेसबुक पे आप देखिए दस अज ह्यूज कलेक्शन कलेक्शन नहीं मतलब लिस्ट ऑफ दीज इमोजीज कहीं और से नहीं तो हमारे जो बच्चे दे आर यू नो द स्क्रीन फ्रीक उनको तो हम स्क्रीन पे ही सिखा सकते हैं जस्ट शो देम डिफरेंट इमोजीज टॉक टू देम अबाउट दिस एक्सप्रेशन आई वांट टू ऐड आई वांट टू ऐड सम पॉइंट्स यू नो खुशबू हां जब हम फर्स्ट टाइम इमोशंस के इमोजीज इमोशंस को के बारे में सिखाते हैं बच्चों को मेक अ मेक बी अवेयर दैट व्हाटएवर द फ्लैश कार्ड्स यू आर यूजिंग टू टीच द इमोशंस इट शुड बी नेचुरल अगर आप फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन से सिखाइए आपके बच्चों को इमोशंस नो द कार्ड वॉट एवर द फ्लैश कार्ड यू यूज इट शुड बी नेचुरल यू नो द बॉय आर द गर्ल डूइंग द फेशियल एक्सप्रेशन एंड ऑल बी अवेयर दैट यू चूज द राइट वन राइट पैक्स यू नो इन फैक्ट नेहा आई वॉज सजेस्टेड दिस थिंग बाय माई थेरेपिस्ट एंड At that time, I did not have a good printer and laminator at home. So, I made Let Me Talk app. Me, I had taken mm-hmm. all the pictures of Vian with various yes. different expressions whenever yes. I was getting. Yes, you get to know. And I created uh, a full okay. album. Hmm. Okay. And uh, that really, really helped. So, you know, parents so who have got. Heard... No, whatever the pegs they are using, whether the emotion cards while teaching the emotions cards, using the flash cards, or the uh, while teaching the fruits, animals, vegetables, whatever the flash cards you are using to the, teach while teaching haan, the kids, the it real, should be natural. The hmm. It should be natural, you know. Then only they can you know, grasp. Uh-huh. Totally, they come, you know. The so parents who have heard us earlier also, they would know that we are yeah. the biggest advocate of this. <laughs> the cards and the real child. ones. no let's your child learn naturally all the yeah. things na yes that is the point i wanted to add in this you know yeah yeah no no i just wanted to say like you know with the change in time even we have become very um मतलब इमोशनली हम चीजों को कैसे एक्सप्रेस कर रहे हैं जस्ट विद द इमोशंस विद वी टेकिंग द हेल्प ऑफ दोस इमोजीज हम टेक्स्ट में कम करते हैं ना अपनी बात Hmm. So this point, co. I was trying to emphasize that let our kids learn this as a high priority, the primary thing. बाकी सब इसके बाद है. Everything yes, they will learn, but this they need to pick. Yes, yes. In modern शिक्षा ना बहुत ही जरूरी. चलिए जी. Next. Okay. What anxiety an autistic child faces when comes in social gathering? So. the answer is uh, feeling people hates them and talk about them for being different makes a teenage kids to get frustrations in social gatherings mm. so uh, take your child to selective gatherings where he is understand and being loud in small kids social anxiety happens due to lots of sensory issues um, many kids are hypersensitive to sounds and vision and people really do not understand kids situations so he is uh, expressing this in the two way two types of anxieties you know social anxieties uh, uh, in the small kids and social anxieties in the teenage kids mm. Mm. two different way he, he is expressing uh, means in the small kids uh, means there are lot of sensory issues will be there uh, they will be no, not uh, able to uh, get that sounds and all you know and they were very uh, sensitive to auditive sounds and visions mm, so uh, it will be very hard for them uh, to adjust in that situation 
and in the teenagers uh, whenever you we take uh, them to uh, social gatherings and all you know um, it will make them uh, frustrated uh, means when they reach the age teenage almost their uh, emotions and feelings will be very high at the, at the, that stage and uh, they some um, they some way they come to know that they are different from others and all and in front of uh, him uh, them if uh, the third person comes and uh, talks about uh, him or her uh, about him kya hua hai bachcho ko kya hai kya ye nahi ye ye sikha hai ki nahi yahan pe treatment liya hai ki nahi uske bare mein agar three teen char log hai iske samne se bitha ke agar baat karte hai to it will get so much frustrations for the kid you know uh, agar ye bachcha different hai uh, means he will be get it highlighted in the uh, function you know agar in sab normal bachcho mein agar ek agar teenage bachcha agar uh, he is in that uh, sab ki nazar jo hai na is bachche ke upar hi rehte hai means um, khud ka jo bachcha bahut sare pe <laughs> ये पर्सन को ऐसा ये रहता है कि खुद का तो कुछ ये नहीं रहता है दूसरों के बारे में जानना बात करना बहुत एक्साइटेड रहते हैं आज हमारे स्पेशली इन इंडिया इंडियंस वेन एवर वी गो इन द सोशल गैदरिंग वॉट एपन टू चाइल्ड वाई इज नॉट टॉकिंग डॉक्टर्स नेम एंड ऑल कंसल्ट यू कंसल्ट देम यू कंसल्ट देम ऐसे कुछ भगवान का ये करो वो करो सब शुरू हो जाता है एकदम से लिस्ट बड़ा ही हो जाता है कभी भी जाने के कहीं जाने के बाद <laughs> so they are is telling that uh, there are different types of social anxieties uh, we can see small kids and in teenage kids different types of social anxieties we can see mm-hmm. is telling so mm-hmm. the next next question also as far as i remember is related to the same question yeah see yes yes how to prepare our child for attending a function or a celebration uh okay. let's read namneet's answer first and then i also have something to add so yeah. neha this is a long sure. one it is on two slides so aap hi pehle read read kar do ha ha ji okay uh, okay preparing child for functions and celebrations depend upon for doing what type of function <laughs> and where it is uh, and where it is uh, a house function if it takes place at home Uh, then whole day there will be crowd <laughs> if it, if child has sensory issues then make it makes lots of disturbance to his mind either have functions with limited people or stay your child away for some time and do make him sit in a quiet place for making no noise if you are going for any other functions keep preparing a child for the function talking about it explain and create a different stories to teach them about the functions if it is a uh, he is giving the example of the functions and if it is a um, birthday party teach them today we are going to uh, birthday party and lots of people come there and celebrations take place by cutting cake and followed by dinner or lunch etc need changes in the functions if unexpected then explain child about it please take Uh, take for a function for a short period and slowly you can increase it when they get used of next screen is it is it so, huh yes ah. yes i can uh, feel so comfortable for a, for a child uh, every parents should have this converse conversation with child before taking them out for function um if child wants uh, to have free space in the functions then go for it don't put restrictions fidgeting tools are very good for dealing with anxiety so he, he, this also he is added that tools you know uh, uh, anxiety so carry some tools along with you socialization comes from inside feeling to be active in surroundings comes slowly by observation so please give time for a child to socialize many parents hold children to doing something which which may irritate child like come and talk with people go, go and dance like other kids show how you sing how can uh, how can a child play attention in all already they are getting pains from being different 
if anybody force them to interact it bigger it makes them hurt positive reinforcement is very much needed that is uh, telling a child that people understand and trust you you have so much faith in parents so you are uh, uh, we so we are here to support you if you get hurt by others talk so this message um, next slide i think no it's acha just a minute i think uh, yeah i mean that's all that's all ha huh, that um, uh, message feels so comfortable for a child you know mm-hmm. that is the so this is the message this is probably what he would have wanted to write okay you want to um, add something to it i think i wanted uh, to add but navneet has written it in so much details that it is self explanatory yes yes i i don't have any <laughs> any more things yeah, to add i just you know, i just want to <laughs> yeah and i just want to add how i did it and actually succeeded so okay. uh, you know sure. we have discussed this in previous webinars also many mm-hmm. a times it this thing came up in visual cards and let me talk app and the other webinars that we have discussed and mm-hmm. first function where i took vian he was super anxious he did not participate he did not let us participate so it mm-hmm. was like a total mess from all the perspectives mm-hmm. the second function in the family we prepared him thoroughly let me talk app mein us hotel room ke pure pics banaye humne जिस घर में रहने वाले थे उस घर के पूरे पिक्चर्स डाले कैसे ट्रेन से ट्रैवल करके जाने वाले हैं हाउ दीज थ्री डेज आर गोइंग टू बी व्हाट इज द काइंड ऑफ डेकोरेशन एक्सपेक्टेड एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम ऑल दिस हर फंक्शन में जाने के पहले वी गेव हिम अ चॉइस जैसा नवनीत ने लिखा है ना बच्चे को uh, हर वक्त फंक्शन में ले जाना जरूरी नहीं है पूरी देर वहाँ बैठाना जरूरी नहीं है चुप बैठने को बोलना मैंडेटरी mm-hmm. नहीं है लेट द चाइल्ड ऑल्सो हैव इज स्पेस so we yes. uh, we allowed vian we gave him a choice ki ab wala function us room mein hai jahan kal ye wala function hua tha do you want to go yes or no yes hmm. to chalo wahan pe bhi fir usse char baar pucha are you comfortable you want to go back to the room yes or no usne jis moment pe yes bola hum room mein wapas aa gaye rishtedaron ko jo sochna hai soche dusron ko jo sochna hai but we have to nahi nahi we are we are chance choice Kushpu, we are not here to entertain all, you know. First right. priority is our child. Entertainment yeah. is necessary. Yeah, we are not here to enter, yeah. entertain. Yeah, whenever they guest get came, we come to our house. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
uh, where they are comfortable he is saying yeah that's right neha and also the first few lines where we have to we apparently feel that bachcha to theek hai comfortable hai but see uh, navneet has highlighted that they are not comfortable it's a heavy auditory sensory input for them in such situations so we really need to think it from their point of view also social anxiety uh, because um, when they are, when we t- when our kids are small you know social sensory uh, sensory issues will be very you know uh, they are very sensitive to auditory processing i have uh, experienced the worst to worst part when whenever i attended the functions when he was small and near about 3 years old and all you know uh, attending the functions and marriages was very <laughs> yeah Did we it. all have been through that you know? literally no whatever he faced physically you know i can i used to see uh, from my eyes you know his uh, literally his eyes uh, his ears used to get red and red you know uh, he oh totally God. he used to change his face head banging and all you know whole a whole life uh, when i went to my cousin's uh, uh, marriage uh, when mm. he was a uh, years old i think uh, whole night he 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 was near about 6 years old actually you know not that much small to handle <laughs> and uh, taking him in my on my laps whole day whole day he was banging his head and uh, crying crying whole day whole night uh, he cried you know hmm. <laughs> that day uh, due to auditory disturbance and all uh, then uh, after <laughs> half of the function we attend uh, attended in the <laughs> in the one room only in the separate room uh, we our presence was there but but from far from the function hall and all you know we came back soon uh, every yeah. uh, most of the functions even our our family functions those our sisters marriage and all you know i have attended as a guest uh, i was the only guest <laughs> my role was yeah. like a guest <laughs> you know neha this reminds me this reminds me we we had a very very good friend like the husband was my husband's very good friend the wife was my very close friend we belong to the same place the hometown is same mm-hmm. and so close at some point of time but um, you know people did not know about vian's diagnosis and we outright refused to attend functions the gatherings and everything to hum एकदम सोशल एनिमल से एंटी सोशल कहलाने लग गए बट वी रियली डिड नॉट बॉदर एंड पीपल यूज टू थिंक दैट इतने प्रोटेक्टिव क्यों होते हैं ये अपने बच्चे को लेकर बट हु न्यू दैट यू नो दैट पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन वी वी न्यू कि हमारा बच्चा वहां कंफर्टेबल नहीं होगा तो व्हाट्स द पॉइंट टेकिंग हिम देयर एंड आगे की तरफ टीम पे नॉट खराब करना हम्म ठीक है विद ऑल द रिलेटिव्स यू नो वी आर ओवर प्रोसेसिव दे का Uh, when they step our journey they can know whoever steps in our journey they can mm-hmm. they can feel the pain you know <laughs> from matlab i sometimes pain. feel that one broken relation that one broken friendship has mm. got me into a world where we are so many of us together understanding mm. each other we are a beautiful family apna sigan mantras ka telegram group hi aap dekho it's 1000 plus <laughs> what more even you, you know i am limited uh, i am i limited you know my french uh, french circle in this local society at our place uh, whenever i go out uh, to any selective uh, functions i will go where my child is accepted mm. if my child is accepted if uh, if the uh, the one who is <laughs> inviting us uh, is a uh, kind hearted and uh, is is having some soft corner for our family and for our kids then only i attend the functions mm. or else no. i was Just also uh, listening to one of the webinars by uh, uh, mary barua ma'am and she mm. also emphasized on the same thing apne mm. bacche ko pehle dekho uske comfort ko pehle dekho yes. usko samjho baaki sab baad mein first priority of our kids they should not they should feel comfortable if they are not comfortable then the um, nothing more than them you know? uh, right you know? okay har ek parents ko sochna chahiye social gathering social society isse pehle hamare bacche aate you know hmm. they are uh, uh, most of the Indi- especially indian parents they are not uh, ये सोशल गेस्ट आए ये करो वो करो बच्चों का शेड्यूल चाहे ब्रेकअप होने दो कुछ भूखा रहने दो पता नहीं गेस्ट आने के बाद किया है ना नेहा 
आप और हम ये चीजें कर चुके हैं सो वी नो दैट वी डिड नॉट गेन एनीथिंग वी ओनली लॉस्ट गेन हमने तभी किया जब हमने अपने बच्चों को टाइम देना चालू किया उनको समझना चालू किया दे आर द थर्ड पर्सन इन आवर लाइफ यू नो दे विल गेस्ट व्हाट आर द गेस्ट यू नो दे विल कम एंड दे विल एंजॉय एंड दे विल गो एंड टॉक बैक अबाउट फर्स्ट यू नो दे आर जस्ट फॉर गॉसिपिंग एंड ऑल वी शुड नॉट गिव मोर इंपॉर्टेंस टू देम इन आवर लाइफ या वी ऑल हैव आवर ओन फैमिली सरकमस्टेंसेस डायनामिक्स बट जिसके लिए जितना जैसे कंफर्टेबल है वी ऑल हैव टू ट्राई आवर बेस्ट टू गिव जो हमें समझ सकता है उनके साथ ही बनाओ फैमिली ऐसा कुछ मेरा भी है हाँ जी चलिए जी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन माय चाइल्ड बिहेव्स डिफरेंटली इन फ्रंट ऑफ रिलेटिव्स इतना ही है नेहा क्वेश्चन Your son behaves differently. Uh, it looks different for you, no? Uh, but for your kid, he has the reason uh, uh, for that behavior. You have not mentioned what type of behavior is behavior is making your ch- um, is making you different. But prepare a child before any relatives come home. Don't force a child to give full time in entertaining relatives. give uh, just give, make uh, to say hi and hello and free him in his world uh, if he really feels like enjoying you all uh, then he comes near you show his interest in talking with you on this <laughs> on this part i'm always prepared uh, doesn't make me anxiety now before he was having anxiety uh, when he was small but now he is not having anxiety uh, so uh, when i was small i disliked all these things but now i am big so i love when relatives come home i feel like giving them good gestures but sometimes it hurts me when they go back but i control my emotions he says <laughs> <laughs> when he was small no he uh, when there was someone uh, somebody comes to our house even my parents also you know a uh, hmm, lot of uh, disturbance and all you know he used to get irritated but now he, now he has uh, got that self regulation and all and he is more attached to, to my parents and uh, whoever comes now he is uh, much socialized now you know means the socialization when our kids are small we have we should not force them to involve in Uh, to take participate in each and every thing <laughs> involved uh, involved in our matters you know uh, by slowly they by observing and by slowly they will get used to uh, it <laughs> yeah hmm. yeah so, so we have to prepare a child you know before the, anybody comes home one one or two days before you talk with the child and communicate with them so and so person is coming uh, how you should behave uh, and uh, what uh, they are uh, if you become so something positive reinforcement like if you do behave good uh, uh, and all um, they will appreciate you motivate you some positive stories through s- stories and all we can prepare a child you know um, yeah. and uh, when the child becomes a uh, big uh, if some relatives means uh, my um, navneet is very uh, connected you know um, so much used of my parents whenever they come here uh, two three days before itself i start pre- start preparing him you know they are going back <laughs> but again they will come <laughs> i have to prepare you you know he will get so emotionally so much hurted you know uh, he is attached so much to my parents um, it will take time for two or three days to get uh, to become normal again <laughs> I so, think in most of the houses, this is the story yeah. with uh, grandparents, either nana nani or dada dadi. But sub jage ye uh-huh. hai. <laughs> uh-huh. I I have videos of Vian where he is howling and crying when his dadu and dadi are leaving back. <laughs> so it happens. When ma he he is more attached to my parents, you know, especially mm-hmm. ad, um, my mother, my mother. You know. Okay. Uh, first he used to get laughing and all who whole night used to uh, awake you know <laughs> and all <laughs> a social anxiety it bahut tha since when i started communic- communication is very important in this uh, to especially with this autistic kids you know uh, yeah. before uh, communication 
whatever the situation happens you know if we talk clearly uh, before it happens then they will um, set their mind how to behave you know mm. all of sudden the changes if it happens it's very hard for them uh, to adjust so prepare a child before anyone comes you know, any relatives visit you prepare mm. a child behave that is the ma- message <laughs> for this and you question. know some parents would also have a question what if we have some unexpected guests but yes. uh, that also gets sorted if we are mm-hmm. doing this for the ones where we are known ki ye hamare yahan falane falane din pe aane wale hain to hote mm-hmm. hote 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 bachcha prepared ho jata hai and mm-hmm. then sometime if you have some unexpected guests also the child is better than you know what you would otherwise expect from him so yes. try this guys okay so we we'll move to the next question uh what age did you start to realize that you are different from other peers and how did you feel about it and what helped you to feel better and to to start <laughs> answering before start answering this uh, question you know uh, after you reading to- this question <laughs> only i came to know about my uh, navneet uh, <laughs> some matters i was unknown uh, you know uh, oh okay so, oh yes oh uh, yes uh, so just first i will read the answer yeah <laughs> when i entered teenage i was near, uh, when i entered teenage uh, i was near 13 years old when i started realizing that i am different from others controlling my emotions and all i got a few months back itself uh, a few months before itself i feel so proud of myself because in my world i am pure soul i am uh, i am special on thinking as much i want so uh, so divine feeling to talk with my mind uh, kindness and humanity i have because i intend it in my mind talking with myself uh, i found myself being in my own world so i am very happy the way i i show my emotions to others give ex, give my experience and share my soul with knowledge to other soul uh, my parents always supported me and trusted me so it makes me uh, feel so better and comfortable in my life uh, with this question only i when <laughs> i came to know that so when he was 13 years old he started uh, feeling uh, how different he is and all but 13 years to for uh, for three years i think uh, from 13 years dragging from 13 years to 15 16 years near about three four years he was hiding this pain you know he was sometimes used to get hurt and sometimes used to feel whatever um, he used to um, day by day he was feeling uh, emotionally he used to <laughs> get hurt you know uh, from 13 years only he came to know that he is different with this question i came to know you know <laughs> but uh, but uh, uh, recently i started um, alternative way of uh, communication and all now i came to know uh, <laughs> all this uh, feelings and all uh, he was hiding <laughs> from four years <laughs> so he is happy he is telling that he is happy in uh, in this world um, he is um, uh, talking with uh, him himself uh, means knowing ourselves is very important you know uh, means uh, um, he and uh, the uh, positive um, thing uh, he <laughs> he was feeling about us is uh, it's a greatest reward for for us as a parents you know uh, some way he is uh, very proud of us uh, <laughs> and uh, he is uh, he is comfortable with uh, with us that is the uh, uh, it brings us so relaxed in our life you know <laughs> i feel uh, so happy that he is comfortable and uh, some way uh, our words are not getted hurt uh, knowingly unknowingly we we may have, um, use the word some times uh, which may which in which he may got hurt and all but uh, he managed his emotions he regulated his emotions and all uh, he is uh, feeling comfortable with us that is the biggest reward of my life uh, as a parent i think so it's very emotional 
He know? definitely is the reward for you, Neha. Mm-hmm. Not only for you, in fact, for all of us who are connected with you, Navneet, and your whole family. I mean, uh, knowing our children and children know us. That is the you know we know children. Uh, that is the not a big, big uh, it's a big deal, of course. But uh, our kids understand us and uh, they. Um, they know us and they they feel comfortable uh, this is nothing but a big gift you know <laughs> for every parent <laughs> i don't know what to say on this uh, particular answer this is purely for you and nani <laughs> part of your journey yeah. so, we'll, we'll move to the next question uh my daughter's interested to go with kids for play but doesn't involve with them in play or try to learn play just runs all around how can i make her learn to involve with them and the answer is to your daughter um, make feeling comfortable with other kids means he is going to tell that uh, first you make uh, uh, feel comfortable make her to feel comfortable with other kids uh, give herself time to observe what other kids are doing do have patience it takes time to uh, slowly get involved in playing with other kids if she is uh, interested to play with other kids do teach her how to play and communication problems comes Uh, uh, communication problems makes a child to lack of socialization both you and your daughter do play more fun games at home prepare your child from home itself parents should be a good friend with child first then you go for other outside activities uh, with other uh, I means he is going to tell that uh, for with for outside activities with other kids mm. if anyone ask her a questions for her it may be confused you observe her whether she is understood what uh, what what asked you need to work properly on language development this is means uh, communication problem will come uh, when with our kids you know uh, they wanted to socialize with other kids Uh, but some way uh, the, they cannot uh, communicate with the other kids properly and uh, cannot uh, keep their thoughts uh, with them uh, uh, with other kids so communication uh, problem becomes a big deal uh, for socialization he is going to tell this means uh, first to make him uh, he is going to tell that first make your child to observe other kids how they are playing and all you know uh, first make him to ab- make them to observe then you slowly they will uh, get uh, near them and imitate uh, playing with other kids yes. yeah we had mm-hmm. a similar question earlier also no so mm-hmm. so shall we move ahead neha i think this is yes answered pretty well no uh she doesn't reply if anyone ask her a question or no if anyone asks a question to her she doesn't reply she just closes her eyes or lowers down her head i think it is in continuation with the same question <clears throat> so how can i help her to reply in a proper way and what exactly goes in her mind so she reacts uh like that way <clears throat> Uh, as it is, I think it is a uh, continued one. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's about the same child. Two questions, yes. huh? Yeah. Two questions. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, so, uh, if anyone ask anything, making eye contact and showing behavior through actions and responding with speaking becomes so difficult for autistic kids. Making eye contact for us, eye contact pain when we. <laughs> miss is going to tell that his sentence is a little bit different uh, the way of writing uh, means of uh, for make uh, making eye contact for us eye contact eye contact pain 
doing uh, eye contact uh, feels like heavy tiny sparkle in eyes so do not force um, to make eye contact he is going to tell yes your child may be sensitive to vision so make her comfortable by not forcing her to make eye contact give time on developing her sensory system most of kids will balance their sens- sensitivity when they grow old so patience is what you needed now is telling mm mm-hmm. uh, means don't uh, make your child to do eye contact uh, is telling no. means what what the uh, what is it going in the mind uh, what exactly goes uh, in the mind? means uh, he is telling his problem you know mm-hmm. what he is he has faced making the yeah. what uh, making the eye contact and all what happens mm, what problems they face mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. when someone face uh, tells us to make eye contact and all mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if they have a very sensitive to vision and all uh, um, it will uh, what happens <laughs> he is expressing his yeah. so actually all our kids have uh, issues with multiple processing together so one at a time mm-hmm. and eye contact ke liye bolna bachche ko comes at the least least priority mm-hmm. it actually uh, comes with time hame mm-hmm. jo skill pe hum kaam kar rahe hain ya us particular moment pe jo cheez important hai we need to focus on that and not mm-hmm. on eye contact this i have heard from many other uh professionals and parent professionals to no, i when i tried a sensory diet also you know namit is very hyper sensitive to vision till now also <laughs> you know all other senses uh, sensor i got succeeded in all uh, working on all other sensory uh, system and all you know but uh, in this part uh, especially with the uh, vision he still struggling with uh, sensitive you know mm-hmm. with vision you know mm-hmm. sometimes he tells him his uh, he gets headaches Uh, if we, if we do so lot of screening and all you know yeah. and uh, so i think uh, now he is uh, having some photophobia also you know this um, maximum time uh, because he communicates with you through screen no ne ha so that is affecting his no, eyes i avoid even. you know um, if mm. there is only no if there is only any lengthy question and answers or something related to write ups and all i mm. use the screen and tap um, or most of the times so i use only keyboard you know no yeah. like a, no some gestures if there hmm. is no any lengthy answers and all i uh, he tells me yes no uh, in marathi sometimes you know oh yeah. nahi he tells you know gestures and oh. all uh, he tells, <laughs> communicate okay. mm-hmm. or yes or no uh, yes no i will uh, <laughs> write it on the uh, yes, uh, actually see uh, his receptive language is no uh, very nice mm-hmm. yeah or else sometimes yeah. I mean, you will always keyboard, been Uh, yeah you always been his uh, very strong mm-hmm. support system in all the possible ways <laughs> now uh, not only screening whenever the screening uh, hurts him no uh, evening time i will avoid the screening you know day time he will be yeah. comfortable uh, but uh, evening time i will not force him to write yeah, uh, no i remember when we were deciding on this you you had shared this that every day i will make him sit for a limited time maybe 30 minutes 40 minutes and every day he will write one answer when um, i remember yeah. we even told you that yeah. let's go by his pace and not rush on this let him take his time and go very slow on this answers uh, this time i am planning uh, now i am uh, planning to take some uh, uh, bluetooth keyboard and all no uh, if i yeah. take bluetooth keyboards and all uh, no he don't need to uh, look at the screen if we type uh, something uh, by looking only at the keyboard it, that is much enough for me mm-hmm. while writing write ups and all you know mm-hmm. yeah uh, no uh, that i'm the <laughs> planning some alter uh, on <laughs> other <laughs> many yeah. more alternative ways also you know now uh, no we have to be in the keyboard huh that does never at rest we always have to be in that planning mode and then execution <laughs> we have a, we are a small scientist you know actually, doing day to day more and more ex, uh, experiments you know ye yeah. karenge aaj ye karenge to hoga success ye karenge wo karenge <laughs> haan ji chaliye yeah. next question dekhte hain kya hai so my kid 3.10 years is not allowing others to come nearby him navneet says uh kindly request you that 
please respect their sensitivity means it this sent sentence <laughs> is applied for all parents i think you know kindly request you that please respect their sensitivity whatever the sensitivity it is you know uh, to touch someone and to be touched by uh, to touch someone and to be touched by others is different we fear when someone come near uh, we think uh, other person will do touch hardly to us uh, do teach the sense of touch taking tactile activities make child to know different type of textures your child is very small so don't worry slowly he will socialize he is telling means uh, if the if your child is uh, very sensitive to touch um, let them let he uh, he or she uh, feel the all the types of textures and all you know um, before touching uh, before um, if you are um, going near, near to the kid and if you want to touch them before uh, talk to a child i want to touch i am touching touching like that some through some fun games and all you know um, let um, let let you allow uh, your child to touch you know instead of you touching them uh, yeah. it will be more comfortable you know means means the strength uh, the, if he, he or she is very sensitive even now also now me so uh, sometimes whenever i hug him he resist me you know uh, he is big not 16 years old but he will <laughs> irritates when i hug him or go and near sit near him and all you know he don't like that <laughs> he is very sensitive to you know uh, but if sometimes if he feels uh, uh, sometime you know he comes and hug me <laughs> he if he hugs he is comfortable <laughs> but uh, when i get he touch him you know, he will resist you know and let uh, your kid Uh, touch you know that feel that uh, sense of touch and all uh, if uh, tactile activities may work um, the kid is 3 3 years 3 uh, near 4 years i think um, if um, tactile act sensory diet may work you know uh, if uh, they will focus and work on the tactile activities it may bring some changes in the yeah. kid mm-hmm. so so i think yeah this is uh, well explained we move to the next question nehu ah yes sure yeah. mm-hmm. why kids always keep crying <laughs> not only kids pray parents you also so keep crying you keep, too. <laughs> keep crying you or me also feel like crying you know? actually yeah It, kids cry because they have a reason which you have to observe it you have not mentioned the age of a child you have to look after child's mental status it's not always giving uh, giving for child doing something to play and make him stop crying it uh, it need to be observed cried uh, crying may be for sign of some pain Uh, maybe sometimes sensory issues maybe uh, maybe to seek uh, attention of ears means type of crying uh, types of crying he is mentioning uh, maybe to seek attention of ears uh, these uh, maybe reason so uh, so many reasons are there you have you have uh, you have a proper communication with child when child cry more than an hour it may be pain with his body parts when child cry for attention seeking you will observe child will do more tantrums than crying because uh, crying happens when child is in deep pain so you mm-hmm. have to know the right reason for by observing he is saying means the type of crying <laughs> what are the types of crying he is explaining you know uh, if uh, it is the re- crying is the reason uh, to make any t- tantrums through any tantrums it last uh, crying will not last <laughs> means crying less and tantrums more he is saying <laughs> they do yeah if they are uh, if this child is having something pain you know it lasts for hours uh, so we have to observe them 
it's all in all these things you know our observ- parents observation is very important you know before no, again, before and to judge once, judgment yeah and again and again we come back to the same point that we have to work on developing their communication yes so yes once that mm-hmm. is in place they will be mm-hmm. able to tell us why they are crying in any like just in a bit is communicating through typing writing yes Art yes can communicate in any possible ways but communication uh, is very skill develop ha karna is very important no if a child is crying uh, rather than knowing uh, for any uh, 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 rather than judging uh, our ch- children you know first we have to communicate with the child and ask first thing we have to do is For, go for asking him through uh, if your child is verbal uh, if they can express what what are the pain are you getting some pain internally ch- jo kuch pain hai uh, no whatever the pain you have to first ask that you know hmm. mm-hmm. child is crying you know sometimes they may be in pain but they cannot express it properly you no know? stomach pain something you know uh, they cannot express the pain and then all emotionally uh, we have to uh, teach our emotions <laughs> we have to <laughs> teach you know uh, whenever they cry with with the crying they can share their emotions uh, yeah. what what exactly what is happening with them you know? means so we have as a parents we have to keep a good bonding with the child we can means uh, in that uh, child has to share each and every uh, thing with the parents it will be easy you know so in again ghuma phira ke jo hai na communication pe yaad pura exactly ha communication emotions communication. yeah <laughs> shall we the next question why in childhood they are avoiding family functions my son is 4.4 years old is pe apan pehle bhi baat kar chuke hain but still uh, neha please read, read kare ha uh avoid the functions because uh, there will be more crowd and sensory issues are very common in autism they fear of sound and loud music many kids uh, many kids get tired of seeing surroundings and get so confused to look at people or other objects <laughs> when you take uh, when you take to functions prepare a child for the functions and set a time for being attendant in the function for not more than 2 hours kids will slowly get used to it have patience give time for them uh, when they grow old they slowly get used to it but don't avoid them taking to functions children learn by seeing and observing things practically Mm-hmm. so uh, here he is telling that don't avoid the functions but balancing everything is very mm-hmm. important you know i know means avoiding even the child is small if uh, they get used to uh, making them to get used to it is very important but slowly without um, um, making them uh, get hurted by any other sensory issues and all you know means they can bear the capacity they have the patience uh, to deal or balance all his sensory systems and uh, they have they have to deal with all the surroundings and all uh, they can balance only for hardly they keep they can keep the patience only for one or two hours you know starting uh, starting with one or two one or two hours you can reduce it slowly but uh, don't avoid them means uh, we have to mm, take them out he is telling uh, yeah. so, uh, they, you know there are many parents you know bachcha chhota hai nahi nahi we are not taking our kids he bahut hyper hai nahi they will uh, leave, they will not make involve them you know in all the functions and all there are some families and some pa- parents um, they avoid the uh, kids Uh, to take the take them to the functions and all you know ghar mein agar function hai to bhi ye hyper hai aake jaake danga machayega hyper hoga disturbance hoga guest ko i say there are some parents you know they will lock the kids in the rooms i have heard some parents doing this you know mm. not only avoiding family functions if uh, <laughs> you know at the home also if someone some guests uh, visit them you know um, they will not make to be the part of that 
functions and all um they just uh, they will avoid you them you know mm-hmm. <laughs> that yeah. means uh, we have to teach you know the behavior their behavior as the reason but we have to um, balance it and we have to teach them slowly you know they want to socialize but their sensory issues and all are coming in between you know in that um, but slowly if if we make uh, get involved in all the surroundings or in we make get um, make them get to used of all this environment slowly they can learn all the things you know uh, yeah so time to lagega preparing them giving them time and no you know when they become old no they will get hurted you know when they mm-hmm. become hum mummy papa ja rahe agar siblings hai to behan ko leke ja rahe ghar mein ye akele hai teenage jab bachcha teenage ho mm-hmm. jayega when your kids are uh, oh, small out, feel kare they, they, they never let mm-hmm. go you know, they will mm-hmm. ignore they will enjoy uh, agar ghar mein chhod ke agar gaye to bhi he but he will enjoy you know he will mm-hmm. be Okay, uh, comfortable but slowly when they enter the teenage you know they will get to know why they are treating us differently aage yeah. very hard at that time to teach all this you know um, but uh, agar when they grow old then you, if you take them it will be very hard to get adjust and uh, it is very hard for, for to know also you know they will get hurt at you Uh, means the treating family mein mummy papa uh, alag treatment de rahe hame kuch kamiyan mein hai ye sab feelings aa jata hai bilkul bilkul aata nahi ha aur hamare sath matlab agar hum dekhe to agar is diagnosis ko consider na kare kuch kuch moments ke liye to koi hamare sath agar aisa kare to we also feel left out aur hame bhi hamare mann mein bhi wo feeling aati hai to hamare bachche bhi to waise hi hai na we have to respect their emotions respect their feelings always by limiting the time and all uh, slowly they will get used to it you know first mm-hmm. the sensory issues bhi ye nahi aana chahiye wo sab balancing hai wo sab balance karna padta hai mm-hmm. means no now he but he used to face um, but uh, we never did like this you know we have heard from many parents doing this but we thank god that we have um, means I thank God that मेरे अंदर वो नेचर नहीं आया है इतना ही I'm feeling very blessed you know of yeah feeling <laughs> and feeling proud of myself also you, you know? are I'm a very beautiful person Neha yeah. you uh, are a very beautiful person and you spread that beauty around you तो जाती थी मैं अकेले उसे लेके means we never avoided any functions but uh, means घर में उसे छोड़के अब कभी भी नहीं गए हम लोग whenever we went outside we got him we never we never went hmm. you know <laughs> कभी भी गए तो भी उसे लेके ही गए हम लोग means and now he's reason a... and see that's the reason why he is uh... standing tall and confident today in front of the world he has written his book he is writing answers he is expressing his thoughts so beautifully nahi to ye sab uske mann mein andar daba reh jata he wouldn't mm-hmm. have felt that uh, you know that strength and confidence enough to express his words in mm-hmm. in in such a strong yeah, way yeah later i have it means we are taking him out and he is uh, he's dealing and he is coming uh, <laughs> coming through with all types of Uh, people in the society and all it uh, some uh, um, few few months before he was get hurted and very emotional when i cleared it he is regulate uh, he self regulating his emotions and all he is balancing so well no you know he is mm. behaving so matured he is now he is having that capacity to teach me you know all this thing yeah. how to balance all the emotions and all he is teaching me now you know i feel so proud because i never treated him like a special child or i've never went back of autism label, label and all you know that's the best <laughs> thing you've done my ha and that's oh. what that's what brings you here not alone you but we all together yeah. are here <laughs> beyond the label we have to go beyond the label yes yes the definitely <laughs> so moving ahead oh that's it that's all over over, over. <laughs> <laughs> so on that note i would like to say a big big thank you first to navneet because me and neha we have just been the readers here <laughs> <laughs> the the voice of navneet 
but other than that it's all his thoughts his expressions and also a big gratitude to all the parents who trusted in us who trusted sigan mantras who trusted navneet and asked their questions came forward so that they can help their child in best possible ways so we at sigan mantras will try to keep bringing you more such things we not just have you know as you can see in front of your screen yoga healing sigan mantras homeopathy we keep doing a different a lot of different things under each of these especially under sigan mantras and in this series q and a with navneet today we have covered just one category let me just stop there many more to come you know there still many more many to more come to come Do you remember Neha? How many categories are there? Uh, I think an other hmm, four five categories are there. I think. Yeah. So today we have covered just one category, guys, because there were a lot and lot of questions. So we thought we'll do it section wise because. Acha hua. No. Acha hua. Ye ki hua. Aaj nahi to raat par aaj pura dagra mata ji ka jagar. It will come in five six parts. so stay tuned and stay happy let us all be blessed by that almighty and keep working with our kids and keep smiling <laughs> yeah chalo see you all bye bye good night bye good night yeah